Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome back to Alicia Budget Beauty, or if you are new, thank you so much for being here. And on my channel, I love to share affordable fashion, beauty. I also have a special place for indie brand makeup on my channel. So if you like to learn about different brands, if you like affordable fashion and beauty, then you are in the right place. So you guys, we have another Nomad release. And if you have been following me for a while, you know that I love Nomad so much. It is a fantastic beauty brand, and I'm excited to show you guys this launch. So if you want to see, if you want to know my thoughts, if you want some swatches, then stick around. Okay, you guys, so the big reveal, doo -doo -doo, I already showed the packaging in a short, but here we have the new release by Nomad, and we are headed to Monte Verde, Costa Rica, and specifically the Cloud Forest Preserve, the Rainforest. What an amazing destination and place. I personally have a special place for it in my heart because my husband and I got engaged in Costa Rica on June 26th of, I believe, 2012. Is that right? I'll correct it if it's not. But anyway, here's a picture of my hubby and me right after getting engaged. You can see how like young and those sunglasses are not okay. But anyway, I love Costa Rica. We did zip lining. We were in the rainforest type of environment when we were doing the zip lining. Zip lined right past a green, huge snake. Just boop, there he was. Didn't bother us, thank goodness. So yeah, Costa Rica is amazing. If you guys get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. So I was so excited that that was the destination here. And look how cute at this little slothy guy. He's so cute. How cool is that cutout in here? So creative. The cutouts of the birds, like, come on, they outdid themselves. I told Felicia, the owner, you really outdid yourselves this time. So you guys, let's go ahead and open her up. And then I'll tell you more about everything behind the palette the cause, which was always a cause behind Nomad's palettes. They help the environment in which their palettes were inspired by, which giving back, and I think that's just amazing of them. So here we have this beautiful, tropical, deep, rich, vibrant, bold palette. Stunning. I'm going to insert right now a little video so you can really appreciate how beautiful these shades and these shimmers are. I'm going to insert a little clip and I'll be right back. You see what I mean? Like I can show you on here and I mean, you kind of get the gist of it, but you have to see it more up close and personal like that because I will tell you, when I opened up this palette, I, my jaw dropped and I get it at first glance for some people who are not bold, colorful lovers. This may be extremely intimidating, but in my opinion, and I have all the Nomad palettes except for one. This is the most beautiful palette I think that they have done. And there's something about the shimmers, the way that they catch the light and shift. It's just so rich and it is it is so beautiful. So I'm going to read to you real quick. Um, it says the story, a pioneer in environmental protection, Monte Verde Cloud Forest is one of Costa Rica's most precious natural treasures. Consisting of separate flourishing ecosystems, the cloud forest wows visitors with abundant beauty, bounty, and biodiversity. Wonder at the lush forest with trees touching the clouds and peek at the rare creatures and flora hiding in the magical mist 
of Monte Verde. I mean, is that not, that's just poetic right there. That's like, you took me on a journey. I'm an explorer. I'm in the rainforest now. So it says the palette, a canopy of gradient forest greens dotted with vivid pops of colors from flowers and animals that peek through the verdant trees. 12 flourishing mats and six luminescent shimmers inspired by one of a kind wildlife wonderland. And the cause is to help protect the cloud forest and the inhabitants by supporting the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Preserve. So you know you're giving back to something. I mean, who wouldn't want to preserve, you know, the monkeys, the sloths, the jaguars, you know, all of the beautiful flowers. So let's take a little bit deeper look into this palette. It is very spread out in colors. You have lots of greens in here. It's a heavy green palette, but since they're so sprinkled throughout, you kind of don't see that necessarily at first, but you have a deep matte here, more of a true evergreen here, a brighter green right here, and the shimmers all really except this purpley one here lean a little bit green in some kind of way. If I have one single critique of this palette, as beautiful as I think that it is, and it stands alone, I think it's just fine like it is. I've used it twice now. I have it on my eyes today. How stunning is this shimmer right here? That's this bluish purple river trail. I'm going to swatch this live in a minute because I have actually not swatched it yet and I haven't done that live on camera in a while. So I'm going to do that. But this shimmer is stunning. So my only thing is they do have this two-toed sloth right here that is a kind of a muddy green brown, definitely more brown leaning. I wish there was one shimmer in here that was either coppery with golden or even coppery green. Something that I, because if I'm going to use these yellows, pinks, purples, all that, then I don't necessarily want something really colorful as a shimmer too. I wish there was something a little bit more neutral of a shimmer to ground all the bright, vibrant colors. That is a small, small critique, but like I said, this is stunning. And actually, I'm going to pop in my other look that I created the other day. This was my first look. It is more of a heavy green look. I'm going to pop in a little clip and be right back. Okay, I loved that green look. And I wanted to use that first to, I always want to show people when there's a colorful palette that there is a way to get something a little bit more grounded and it's green, but it also tied in that brown on the lower lash line, made it more monochromatic and it's not crazy over the top when you see this and you're like, oh my gosh, am I gonna wear yellow, pink, purple, and green and blue all at once? You don't have to. You don't have to, you can do monochromatic green. You can just stick with one of these, just do purple, just do pink and pop in a shimmer. It doesn't have to be all the colors of the rainbow and I wanted to show that with that first look. So I will say with these shimmers, they are so reflective and sparkly. They are not that thick, really glassy, glossy type of duochrome or anything like that. These are sparkly, shifting, luminescent shimmers and they just pick up the light so pretty. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna attempt to swatch this <laughs> on camera. I'm, like I said, I've not done this in so long. So we have green vine snake. Oh, hello, that is probably what I saw. Let's see if I don't run out of room here. That's probably the snake that was on the vine. That's so funny because we were telling my kids, this is the two-toed sloth. I, we were telling our kids on our trip about uh, going zip lining. We're like, mama and Boppy went right past the snake and it was green. And they were like, nah. We're like, yes. And we're like, we don't know what kind it was, but it was a green snake on a vine. So thank you, Nomad, for it teaching me it was literally a green vine snake okay then oh that was parasiflora 
probably saying that wrong. This is Green Mountain, our first shimmer here. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. So pretty. This is Blue Morpho. And you can tell with these mattes, they are just, I mean, beautifully pigmented. Very, very easy to use. We have Green Spiny Lizard. That is the more just true green shade. Okay, then we have, is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, okay. Then we have Magical Mist, another gorgeous shimmer here. <sighs> so pretty. So pretty. This one is actually like a blue-green shift. It's not quite picking up on camera, right? So this is the first day my kids are back at school. And I was so excited because I was like, oh, I get to film this perfect timing. This palette comes out, the color reveal on Saturday. I'll get this film. And of course, I sat down when it was not the best lighting. Okay, we have, that is Resplendent Gestal, Ketal, Ketal, Ketal. I should know that. Okay, then we have another shimmer coming. It is Wildlife Wonderland. This one is a really bright. This one reminds me a lot of a shimmer in the ColourPop uh, Tinkerbell palette, but just super pretty. I messed up that one there. Grr. Okay, then we have Toucan. I actually am so excited to try this out. Um, I have not yet. This is a true yellow, and I mean, that is a beautiful yellow. Yellows are hard to find like a good matte yellow. My favorite, maybe up until this point, is in the Trace Luce Becky G, I Am Becky G palette, is my favorite just go-to matte yellow. Anytime I need a matte yellow, I go for that palette, but maybe, just maybe, the Monteverde now will trump that. Then we have River Trail, which is on my eyes today. Oh my gosh. Is that not gorgeous? It is a purpley blue. Super pretty. And then we have Bromeliad. Bromeliad. Okay, and this is the kind of corally pink. There's more of a true fuchsia pink in here. That is the corally pink. So Orchid is next, which is that true pink. Very, very, very pretty. And you can see that difference. One's more orange leaning, one's more pink leaning. Then we have Cloud Canopy. This one has that kind of brown green shift to it then we have violet saber wing and this is also the purple that i have on i should have pointed out the blues that i have on mattes but here she is it kind of swatched a little funky i think that's because i'm getting towards the end of my arm but it definitely went on as a beautiful purple. It did not go on patchy like purples can. It is a true high quality purple matte. Then we have Glass Wing. I did use this one in the green look. I loved it. It is the deeper kind of foresty green. Next we have Jaguar, which is the cute little sloth, but I I don't understand that one name. Um, I don't know why the jaguar is a sloth and not jaguars, but hey, they know better than me, but it's a gorgeous orange. Like this orange and this yellow are going to be awesome, like go-to matte 
and actually this green up here. Like they swatch amazing, super pigmented. So you need those colors, those shades in your collection. And then this is Hanging Bridges. This is what I used for a little inner eye shimmer yesterday. And it has a pink green little slight shift to it. So here are all the swatches. And today I have on the blues here, this one and this one, this purple, and then that gorgeous shimmer there. And yesterday I did the greens and then the brown shade. So I still have not played with the pinks or the orange yellow, um, but there they are. And I mean, it definitely fits the theme. They did perfect on the color story. Like I said, I just wish there was one shimmer that was more coppery, bronzy, something like that. But other than that, I, I'm just crazy about this palette. And it's that typical Nomad formula. I always say I don't spend a lot of time on the formula because it's consistently good. And you guys, I just think I'm gonna love this palette. I'm gonna love it because like I said, I was engaged in Costa Rica. I do love color. I love vibrancy. I also think this is a, it's kind of genius. Like sometimes you have to really look at a palette for a while and it starts to click and you're like, oh wait. And their strategy on when, when Nomad releases palettes so they released the Paradise Islands beginning of the summer, like Caribbean, like, woo, we're going. Then they released that midsummer, which was the Provence and you're in France and it was a little bit more muted. And this one is the end of summer. And I get why, because I feel like this transitions into fall. Like you have Halloween colors in here without realizing that you do like, purple, orange, and green. You always see that at Halloween. You just don't have that like black in there. But then you also have the pops of purple and pink and yellow to make it still a end of summer palette. So that was very smart. You think it's coincidence, but they're very, they're very, very smart about their launches. And I bet that was intentional. So you guys, I think if you love Nomad, and you love color, this is one of the best colorful palettes that they have done. If you're terrified of color and you know you'll never wear it, well, it may not be for you. But then if you're one of those in between that you want to get out of your comfort zone and you've been waiting for that one palette and you're like, I just want it to be a good colorful one. If I'm gonna go for it, I'm scared, but then go for it and just have fun and try and maybe just stick to doing one colorful color like a pink and then tying in the shimmer with it just to give it a shot. But you guys, that is it. Um, this launches on Tuesday, I believe at 11 a.m. If that's wrong, I'll fix it right here. And I just, you know, Nomad, they just did it again. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. As always, have fun shopping. Oh, I have a code, Budget Beauty. I always forget. I don't get money but you can save 10%. So as always, have fun shopping, <laughs> shopping, budget shopping with my coat. Bye.